Hello, I'm just making this short video just in case anyone needs help reading the text. The title is Hats at Work. It says some people wear hats to show their favorite teams. Others might wear hats because they like the style. But often hats are worn by people who work outdoors. These hats have an important job protecting workers from the weather. The Sombrero Hundreds of years ago, some people began to wear hats with wide brims. The brim is the part of a hat that sticks out around the lower edge. One group of people who needed wide-brimmed hats were workers in Mexico. The hot sun made it difficult for them to work all day. Europeans began settling in Mexico in the 1500s. They brought hats with them from Europe. These hats did not provide enough protection from the sun. Both native Mexicans and the Europeans began creating hats with wider brims. Soon the sombrero was born. There is a diagram here. Well, here it shows what they're talking about when they say wide-brimmed hats. And then on the last page, there is a diagram that shows you the parts of a hat. The brim is the part around that protects your face from the sun. Paragraph 3. The sombreros were named from the Spanish word sombra, which means shade. Shade is exactly what the hats provided. Some sombreros were made of straw. Wealthier men wore sombreros made from felt. Some sombreros had brims as wide as two feet. Soon, people began making sombreros with decorations. Mariachis are known for their fancy sombreros. Mariachis are Mexican folk singers. Their sombreros often have beading and gold threads. So here's a regular wide brim sombrero made of straw that a worker might wear, and a decorated mariachi sombrero made of felt. The Boss of the Plains Another group of workers that needed special hats were ranchers in the United States. Ranchers raise and care for cattle and other animals. They war on the land, they work on the land, I'm sorry, and are outdoors much of the time. Light workers in Mexico, ranchers in the U.S. I'm sorry, I read that again wrong. Like workers in Mexico, sorry. Ranchers in the U.S. needed hats to protect them from weather. In 1865, John Stetson started a hat-making business. He knew that the hats worn by men who worked outdoors were not ideal. These hats were made from animal skin, straw, or wool. The materials did not do a good job of protecting the men from the weather. Stetson designed a new hat that would better meet the needs of ranchers. He called the hat the boss of the plains. Here's some hat idioms. Hats are so common in our culture that there are idioms about them. Have you heard these? At the drop of a hat means you do something without delay or good reason to do something quickly. Throw a hat in the ring to enter a contest or race. Hold on to your hat means to be careful or get ready. Wear many hats means you have many jobs or duties. The boss of the plane's hat was made to be waterproof. One of Stetson's customers said the hats were like umbrellas. Stetson used beaver pelts to make the hats waterproof. The pelts of 42 beavers were needed to make one boss of the plane's hat. The hats met the needs of ranchers as they worked outdoors. The boss of the plane's hat had a high crown. The high crown allowed more air between the head and the hat. This helped ranchers' heads stay cooler in the heat. It also had a wide brim like the sombrero. The brims protected ranchers' faces and necks from sun or rain. It was common for the crowns of the hats to become dented over time. Some people liked how the dents looked. They began to dent their hats purposefully. Other hat makers noticed this trend. They began making cowboy hats with dented crowns. The cowboy hats worn by some men today are similar to John Stetson's design.
and those are the dents that he said that people were making purposefully as the styles changed. Hats are worn for different reasons, but those who work outside need hats. No matter the style, hats protect people from different outdoor conditions. The questions, uh, the first one just says, what is the best way to paraphrase, excuse me, paragraphs four and five to maintain meaning? The author organizes the information in paragraphs six through eight by, which idea is supported by the details in paragraph three? Read these sentences from paragraph 3 and paragraph 6. These sentences show that the author, and mainly you're looking at the exclamation marks, the author most likely included the labels with the hat image images to which is the best retelling of the text. Again, you have to pick the one that has the events in the correct order. Read these sentences from paragraph 3 and paragraph 8. Which idea is suggested by these sentences? Where in the text can the reader expect to find the meaning of common sayings? It's one of the boxes of information. How might you paraphrase the information in paragraph 9 to maintain logical order? And how could you retell paragraphs 6 through 8 in a way that maintains the author's meaning? <laughs>